Growing up, my father told me over and over again that the vast majority of Canadians, when they go to work in the morning, they try their best, that it was human nature. And you know what? I believed him. Well, with all due respect, I can't help but think that when my father came to that conclusion, it was before there were cameras in the House of Commons. Because we have gotten to the point now where if you ask this government any question on any issue, domestic or international, they will tell you. We stand with Israel. You ask a cabinet minister directions to the closest washroom, they will tell you. We stand with Israel, which personally, I believe, does a disservice to Israel. But that is the situation we find ourselves in. Enter the Speaker of the House of Commons, our referee, our savior of democracy, Andrew Scheer. He says it is not his job to ensure that the government answers direct questions in question period, despite the fact it's been in his job description since 1894. Well, that's not the way Scheer sees it. No, in a passionate, passionate ruling, he revealed to the country that his only role is to ensure decorum in the House of Commons. Show me one person who believes he's done a good job on the decorum front. 308 meth addicts on the dance floor have better manners. Which brings me to a proposal. This government is always saying they're looking for redundancies to save money in government. May I suggest the job of speaker, a job that comes with a minister's salary, a staff, a car, a driver, a house in the country where deer gamble on the lawn. Yes, they gamble. And we replace the speaker with a bag of flour, with a smiley face drawn on the front with a Sharpie. What's the worst thing that can happen? Questions will go unanswered? Rudeness will prevail? Because really, if the highlight of one's professional career is an eloquent explanation as to why they are useless, they should be relieved of the burden of faking it.